The days where your favorite celebrity rides with a TV host and they sing karaoke in the car. It is over. There is no karaoke no more. There is now catching predators with Ryan Garcia, catching predators with Lil Pump, catching predators with Ashton Kutcher, with Brad Pitt. He's such a fucking hell. Some of you tagged me in a video on Twitter where Vitaly is on his day three of... <coughs> Predator hunting with celebrities apparently is going on a 10 day streak each day with a different type of celebrity. And, and the incident that happened in this one was kind of serious. The guy almost died. Fuck you, God. God. Hey. Peacefully. Cool. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. Hey. Hey, I hope those women follow you. I hope they follow you. Uh, I got kids, homeboy. Oh I got kids. Now, bro's punch was so hard, my monitor shaked a little bit. And I am 100% sure if I show you. YouTube would not only give me a strike, YouTube would delete my channel. So we're gonna start from here when bro got knocked out. No. Oh my god. No, stop him. Yo. Dude. Yo. Yo. Now if this is your first time here, you're probably lost. Let me give you a context about what Vitaly does. He goes on, he uh, has a whole team, the team, uh, they text uh, uh, people, random people, trying to test them, trying to bring the pedophile out of them. And then once the guys, you know, they start talking back and the guys, you know, say, or the girls, they say, oh, I'm actually 14, I'm actually 15. You don't mind? And the guys, um, you know, the pedophile is already out. They're like, don't worry, I don't mind, baby. Come to this location, we'll meet up here and we are going to, I will buy you whatever you want. To, it, that day is going to be the best day of your life. Bro goes on with high hopes and ends up seeing Vitaly's face and a couple of other guys and some big ass securities coming towards them. He has been doing this for a while with multiple people and people have left and right opinions on the way that he does it because from the most of the videos I've seen, most of the pedophiles, they get away. They run away. There's no arrest on it. I've seen so many people that they caught, but I've barely seen any of them in handcuffs. Apparently, he goes up to them and tells them, I'm going to do some horrible things to you. If you do not let me, I will call the cops. Shave head or cops? And then the idea in his head is like, he's going to go like, psych, I'm going to arrest them. But the people, the predators, they always run away. And they don't chase them. This is where the internet splits and the situation becomes very complicated. You want my opinion on this? I think it's both a W and an L at the same time. The good thing is the predators, they get exposed and some of them go to jail. The ones who the law enforcement, they either vitally cause them or doesn't let them go get away. Then yes, they get caught and they go to jail. The neutral part in this situation is this is where it really divides the people. They can literally just expose them, catch them, bring the police with them and be like, yo, look, this is what he's been saying. These are the evidence. Take him in cuffs. But that is not enough entertaining content for them. Because this, end of the day, they are doing this 20%, I would say, for good deeds. 80% is a content idea that came into their head. And if you think they're doing God's work, they are here because they care about this so much and they will make it their life's work to fix this issue with the world of this predators fucking texting kids you are mistaken my friend because if they wanted to do god's work they would just you know bring the law enforcement like i said handcuff them take care buy one pedal off the street up to the next but hey it is not interesting enough so they decide to shave their head box them embarrass them pee on them uh, do all these things. It spice definitely spices things up. Predators, I said it in the videos that I make as well. They have no rights. They will get no human rights, in my opinion. They shouldn't get any, you know, any human rights. There needs to be an ultimate punishment for them and everything these uh, streamers they do to these predators. It is well deserved. They should even do more. But this is where the tricky part happens. It is illegal what Vitaly is doing. That person can easily press charges for assault. And they will both go to jail. Now, I covered a couple of the videos of Vitaly, the, you know, who started this predator trend. And we talked about the situation. But out of all the videos, it has never gone this far. This is the part where Vitaly knew that he was actually in trouble. And he, he actually panicked because that guy who fucking punched the living shit soul out of the uh, old man over here 
he wasn't with them. He was just a random guy. And literally, you know, at the team, they started accusing this guy of being a, you know, predator. And the guy just lost his shit. He was probably an ex-fighter because that punch was so juicy. He put all of his weight on the punch. Tah! Knocked out. And he just fell on the ground. And he knew he was in trouble because the guy was unconscious. The guy was not responding. He Not only he fell down like a, a zombie, he fell down... And he hit his head as well. So he was kind of panicking to see, you know, is he going to make it? Is he not going to make it? Because he was pretty old. I just came across some new evidence of them doing some more dumb shit. They gather all the predators in a circle and they run run them over by the car. Okay, so what is this That's all you. about? Oh, shit! Get out of the car. Yeah. Get out of the car, buddy. Hey, what'd you, why'd you do Yeah. You're next. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. The amount of videos I'm watching right now from them doing all these things, 90% of them are illegal. And this is, again, where the tricky part goes. It is illegal, but it's satisfying to watch, but it's illegal to do, but they don't, most of them do not get caught. And after last night, after things went too far, they made a video saying they do not support violence. Violence is bad, even though two days ago they ran over a person. <laughs> hey guys, I got two good news. After what just happened, it was fucking absolutely crazy and mental. Alan here is my private security. Alan, give him an update. What's going on, guys? Hey, I've been in contact right now with law enforcement uh, since everything that happened back and forth. Law enforcement is at the hospital with the gentleman. They've let us know that he's going to be okay. Uh, no long life, lasting medical conditions. Everything's going to be all right. The next thing the cop told me, which was good, is that he's been arrested. He's going to be going to jail for being a pedophile, just like everybody else wants, just like we want. We just don't condone violence by anybody. Uh, I want to point out Vitaly just last week, he gave gloves to a predator and he started beating the shit out of him. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this, this is such, I swear, if they stood their ground, and they would have been like, they deserve each single piece of it, that guy was not with us, that guy wasn't with them, that guy was not with us, but we, he deserved it, and I think he did the right thing, if they did that, I would have respected them more, they bitched out very quickly, they did, did not want to, uh, you know, be involved in any court cases, because guess what, that person who just got knocked out, the predator, he's going to definitely press charges, and the last thing I want to talk about is the dangers of it, of doing this in general, now, it doesn't matter if you have a security guard, you don't have a security guard, you go up to these kind of people, you guys remember that video from, what, two weeks ago where the cops were waiting behind the door of this old uh, Navy retired guy who was going to meet up with, uh, like, a young child in the hotel? Then he, they just opened the door, and the fucking Navy guy took out a gun, and they all started, like, fucking shooting each other. Imagine that happens in a public place. So to answer the question to the two people who tagged me on Twitter on this video, did they take it too far? I don't really give a shit about this situation anymore. It's just, like... They, they, they're doing too much. Yes, it's very satisfying to watch these predators and they deserve to go to jail, but they're spicing it up with illegal stuff a lot and it can cause them just to lose, lose the case and the, the predators getting away. Just get them, slap them behind the head, kick them, uh, kick, kick them in the ass with your boots and just hand them to law enforcement. Every other thing, running them over with a car, peeing on them, it's extra. They're going to get that in prison. Do not worry. They wanted to get Gaga 9,000. They will start giving Gaga 12,000 in prison. And yeah, eventually this whole thing is going to stop. Something horrible is going to happen. This is the only road that this whole thing is uh, headed. And this the whole genre of catching predators and embarrassing them like that is going to end. Because there's a lot of people out there who are, you know, making videos about predators. Uh, chasing after them, confronting them, talking to them, but they don't do anything that the way Vitaly does. They just sit, talk to them, expose them, and bring the law enforcement into it. So yeah, take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video.